today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to spot trade on Binance. Now, we'll go over market, the limit orders, and of course, the convert features. So let's get started. First things first, you're going to need to be logged into your Binance account. And of course, if you don't have a Binance account, do click on the link below to sign up for an added bonus. Now, once you're in, head over to the trade section in the top menu and select spot, which brings us to the spot trading interface now there are three sections on the spot trading interface the first one we'll look at is the order book and the order book is located here on the left side of the screen the order book actually shows all open buy and sell orders for a particular trading pair buy orders bids are in green and sell orders or asks are in red now this gives you an overview of the market depth and liquidity for a specific trading pair next we have the trading chart and the trading chart is at the center of the screen of course and here you can view the real-time candlestick chart of the selected trading pair and if you're wondering about the trading pair list well it's right here on the right where you can find all available trading pairs on binance so whether you want to trade bitcoin xrp ethereum you name it it's on here next we have the candlestick chart and this displays the price movements okay of the selected trading pair now you can switch between different type frames for example 15 minutes one hour four hours one day one week one month and so on info box which is located right here now this box provides key information about the trading pair next we have trading data and this is detailed statistics about a particular trading pair next we have tools and indicator for technical analysis you can add indicators such as the moving averages the rsi the relative strength index the macd and other indicators to analyze market trends okay so it's great as a beginner to actually play around with i would say the rsi maybe the macd just to start with to see where your oversold and overbought is currently at and of course we have the trading pair category so binance offers various trading pair categories okay under stable coins such as usdt usdc fd usd t usd the binance token so the bnb token btc of course bitcoin trading pairs alts ethereum trading pairs fiat and so on of course you can select your preferred pairs and you can of course start it to add it to your favorite now let's look at how to buy and sell crypto on binance and that's binance spot which is the classic trading interface but before you start spot trading remember that you do need crypto in your spot wallet to spot trade okay so you can either buy crypto or deposit crypto into your spot wallet when you buy or deposit it actually automatically goes into your spot wallet we're going to be using btc bitcoin for our buy and sell example now the exact same way you buy is the exact same way that you would execute a sell order so first we're going to choose an order type and the first one we have is a limit order which allows you to buy or sell your crypto at a specific price the limit order is by default when you open up your binance interface or the binance platform next we have a market order and this allows you to buy and sell crypto at the current price and is executed instantly now let's go over how to buy or sell using limit orders first we're going to select the limit order tab if you're not already on there by default it should be selected you're going to set your price so enter the price at which you would like to buy or sell okay and for this instance i'm going to enter the price i would like to buy bitcoin at okay so i'm going to look at the chart and i'm going to say if it goes to this price then that is where i'd like to purchase i'm going to enter that price okay and i'm going to click on buy bitcoin okay and it's as easy as that the same thing goes for if you want to sell your bitcoin and you would like to enter a specific price that you would like to sell then you would simply enter it here and click on sell your Bitcoin. Of course, you would have to specify the amount you would like to buy or sell. And then, of course, you place your order by clicking buy or sell BTC. Now, again, limit orders will only be filled if the market reaches your specific price. And this gives you more control over the price at which you would like to execute your orders. So buy or sell your bitcoin now let's go over market orders and market orders are the quickest way to buy and sell crypto now here we're gonna navigate to 
market order. I'm going to choose the amount of crypto or BTC I would like to buy. The same thing applies for selling. You choose the amount you would like to sell. And here my pairing is with USDT. So we're going to enter the amount of USDT you would like to spend. Now again, USDT is your stable coin and it's pegged with the US dollar. Now I'm going to click on buy BTC or sell BTC. And of course, it will be executed immediately at the current market price. That could be perfect for quick trades when you need to get in and out fast. So let's say, for example, we would like to sell. I would click on the amount I would like to sell. Obviously, I don't have BTC in my portfolio, so I don't have anything to sell. But yeah, that would be how we do it. Then I click on sell BTC. Now let's go over a stop limit order. And a stop limit order combines the feature of a stop order and a limit order. So it involves two parts. Okay, the stop price, which is the price at which the stop limit order is triggered and converted into a limit order. The limit price is the price at which the limit order is executed, but only after the stop price is reached. So first you have your stop price, then you have your limit price, which is executed. That will go over more in another video. For now, you can just focus on limit orders and market orders. Now let's look at different views and managing your orders, okay? You can view your order details under the trading chart. You can view your open orders if you have any on your limit orders. You may, you can also edit order prices and the amount of an open order, or you can simply click on this little bin icon to cancel your order. To look at your canceled or fill order, you can go to order history, okay? You have everything in there. Next we have trade history and here, you can view details of your filled orders, including their executed price and trading fees. So if you want to know how much you paid in trading fees, you'll find that under trade history. Now let's talk about the convert feature on the Binance platform. And that is a super simple way to swap one cryptocurrency for another without having to worry about the market order trade interface, okay? It's a simple tool for you to buy and sell cryptocurrencies on the trading platform. And of course, it's instant, so you can convert your crypto or your fiat assets anytime with a live price quotation. There's no traditional trading fees. That being said, the price that you get quoted on the conversion feature would be slightly less favorable than if you were actually placing a market order, which is an instant order that is executed instantly. So the price of the crypto you are converting might be slightly higher because of course there are costs that needs to be covered when you use that feature. Now here's how to use the convert feature from the main dashboard. Let's go to trade. Let's go to convert. Choose the cryptocurrency you want to convert from and to. Enter the amount you want to convert. Click on the preview conversion to see the rate and then you click on convert. Again, that feature is great for quick, hassle-free conversion. You don't have to do anything on the trading platform. You don't have to look at the charts. You don't have to do anything. If you want to buy Bitcoin, just go there and buy Bitcoin. But the price will be slightly different or higher. And there you have it, a quick tutorial on how to spot trade and convert on the Binance trading platform. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.